Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to start a new series of videos that showcases the different slipcovers I have in my collection. Um, as far as collecting, I do like collecting a large range of different physical media items. And a lot of times what draws me to those items are the slipcovers that they have. You know, I do a lot of double dipping, triple dipping, and you know, repurchasing items that I've already got in the collection just because it has a new slipcover. So today I wanted to start a new series. I think I'm going to call it Slipcover Saturdays to where each Saturday I'm going to show you a, um, a set of, of my collection that has a different kind of slipcover. So today I thought I would start with the Paramount 100 slips. Um, these are a nice looking group of slipcovers for the Paramount line. And there's quite a bit in the collection. Anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and just get started. So first up is the um, artificial intelligence. And as you can tell, this right here has, they're all going to have this nice looking foil um, label at the bottom. And they pretty much have the same look about the top. Now there are some variations of these. Um, different releases. I believe Walmart had their own release. So some of these may look a little bit different and I'll try to point those out as they go along. So next up we have Airplane. Now um, with this one as you can see it does have the gold foil and it has the embossed title but this one also has a gatefold which is not on all of them. So this particular release has a gatefold. I, I try not to open them up too far because I don't want to um, put any creases in it. So there's Airplane, American Beauty, Beowulf. Now Beowulf was one that was really hard to come by. Now as far as this collection is concerned, um, as you can see, I think I don't know if that's a scuff or if that's a part of the picture. I think it's a part of the picture. But um, some of these I actually purchased when they were released. and. Probably 90% of these I actually purchased after they were released um, because I wanted to build up the collection. So most of these I purchased off of eBay. So there will be some some damages to some that I'll try to point out. But we do have Beverly Hills Cop, Braveheart, which is a gatefold. Um, clear and present danger. So as you can tell on this one, there's this blue um, banner at the top, which some of these will have. I'm not sure exactly what the significance of that was, um, but this does have the gatefold. I do believe this is one I actually purchased when it was released, and I want to say that I got it at Best Buy. So some of these may have just been Best Buy exclusives also. But we have Coming to America, which is one of my favorite um, slips. I really like the way that that looks with the red and the um, the print. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Face Off, which was another tough one to find. I love this movie. Face Off is one of my favorites. We have Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's another gatefold. Flags of Our Fathers. Now this right here was another one that was hard to find. Um, I did get this one off of eBay. And what I like about it is just the, the way that that looks. Very nice looking. Does have some rough edges. Footloose. Another tough one to find. It is a gatefold. Now some of these are gatefolds that I haven't showed you. Um, I, I may just randomly show you if they have a gatefold or not. Um, Forrest Gump, another great movie. Um, the bad thing about this one is, of course, the label placing that they do. That is unfortunate. I would prefer not having the label on there, but I'm not about to try to get that one off. We have Ghost. Great movie. We have Gladiator, another great movie. So as you can tell, it says 100 years of moving memory. So I believe that they chose their better catalog titles to release. We have The Godfather, Grease, 
uh, the hunt for Red October with the new with the other um, blue banner at the top. Major League. Unfortunately, as you can tell, it does have some bending at the corner on this one. This right here was a hard one to get. The Naked Gun. Really enjoy that movie. Once Upon a Time in the West. Patriot Games with the blue um, banner at the top. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Saturday Night Fever. Really nice looking. Show you that one. What I like about it is all the information that comes on the inside, um, which I think is great. And then we have Saving Private Ryan, another great movie. The Sum of All Fears. The Ten Commandments. Top Gun. True Grit. So we have True Grit. This right here does not have a gatefold. Now there is a release for this that does have the gatefold, which I do not have in the collection. Um, the True Grit remake, which I really enjoyed. It has the blue um, banner at the top. And it does have a gatefold. Really enjoy that movie. I saw it in the theater. The Untouchables. Now this right here was a hard one to get. And unfortunately, as you can tell, it's got a bunch of scuffing at the top because of the terrible packaging that some people on eBay think that they need to do. They throw it in an envelope. It gets creased. As you can tell, there's a lot of creasing in this one, which is, very, which is unfortunate. Um, I believe I paid quite a bit of money, probably over the $20 mark, probably over the $30 mark for this particular title, and then it came in damaged. But this right here is one that's really, really hard to get. War of the Worlds. As you can tell, it's got some creasing at the bottom. Wayne's World. And We Were Soldiers. And it does have some, a little bit of, actually, that's not too bad, but a little bit of corner scuffing. But those are my red Paramount 100 slips in the collection. And like I said, I really do like having a variation of different kind of slip covers. Um, and I really do like this particular line just because of the great movies that were included in this collection. I'm not sure exactly how many were in this collection. I'm going to, if I, if I do research and let you know, I'll put it on the screen so you can see. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with this. I do have a lot of these that I'm still looking for um, on eBay. You know, I've got little searches set up. So each morning, whenever I um, get into my email, I do see some things that have been released. But a lot of these titles that I do need are very, very hard to get. But leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this particular um, release of slipcovers. Let me know if you have any of these in your collection. I really do enjoy interacting with you and reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to check out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.